Hello and welcome to another tutorial from VideoEditingSoftwareGuide.com Today we're doing a tutorial on how to levitate objects in Cyberlink PowerDirector 8 Ultra. Let's get into it. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull my clip down into the timeline. The clip of the object on the table by itself and then the uh, subject pretending to lift the object off the table. So I'm going to get it to a position where I like it. I'm going to split the clip here. I'm going to click on this clip and I'm going to of the clip of the vase by itself I'm going to click on freeze frame. I'm going to create a image that I'm going to use to create a PNG image. Now that I have this image added to the timeline you make sure you take out the, the title on there and you can save this image to your PC and then you need to create a PNG image which makes all the background transparent and you'll only see the vase on there. If you don't know how to do that, check out my tutorial on how to create a PNG transparent image in Adobe Photoshop Elements 9. But I don't need this on here because I have my own image so I'm going to remove that. Let's see what else I got here. And remove that. All right. Now, I'm going to also remove this piece because I have my own image that I'm going to use. So I'm going to drag this P PNG image down into the PIP track. And I'm going to drag it out to make it match the length of this track. First thing I want to do is make it full screen. So I'm going to drag these out to make it full screen. And then, as you can see, it's there in the position I want it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to double click on this clip of the PNG image. You know what? And then I'm going to go to Add Edit Motion. I'm going to use the Custom Motion here. Then I'm going to move to a position where I want the object to be at the top of the screen. And I'm going to duplicate the previous keyframe. Now what I'm actually going to do is it's duplicated the keyframe where it's at the bottom. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drag this up to the position where I actually want it to be for the keyframe, which is about right there. Then I'm going to move this forward a little bit because the subject keeps his hands up at the top for a little while. So I'm going to duplicate the previous keyframe here. You'll see it stays up there. And then I'm going to move forward to a position where the subject's hands are at the bottom. Is probably good right about there and I'm going to duplicate the next keyframe which should be with the item back at the bottom so now if I play this you'll see what I want to do real quick is make another keyframe here where the individual first puts his hands out and that keyframe should match the first keyframe I'm going to duplicate the previous keyframe there and that way it stays on the table for a certain amount of time before it starts to rise so let's play that you see the item staying on the table hands come out item starts to go up hands go up with the item and they have it how to levitate objects is CyberLink PowerDirector 8 Ultra Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.